Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of vectors. And if I talk about the question which is given to us, it says a vector A, which is 2i plus j plus 3k. Then we have been given another vector B, which is 3i plus 3j plus k. And the third vector C, which is given to us as C1i plus C2j plus C3k. So these are the three vectors given to us. And the question further tells us that these three vectors are coplanar. So when we know that the vectors are coplanar, basically that means the scalar triple product of them or the box product of them, it's basically equals to zero. And further, the question is also telling us that vector A dot vector C is equal to five. So dot product of vector A and C is given to us as five. And they've also given us vector B is perpendicular to vector C. So dot product of B and C is also zero. Because we know if the two vectors are perpendicular, the dot product turns out to become zero. The question further is asking us to find out the value of 122 times C1 plus C2 plus C3 is equal to what? And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, the options are 50, 100, 150, 200. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for this value of the expression that is asked to us. So let's solve this question further. So if I see, I have vector A dot vector C is equal to five. So I have my A vector as two I plus J plus three K. And my vector C is C one I plus C two J plus C three K. The dot product of them is equal to five, which is given to us. So I get a equation in terms of C1, C2, C3 from here. So I know that the dot product I have is I dot I becomes one. So that gives me two C1 plus C2 plus three C3 is equal to five. The second it's given to us a condition which says the dot product of B and C is zero. So B I know it's three I plus three J plus K. And vector C, it's given to us as C1i plus C2j plus C3k. The dot product of that is given to us as 0. So that gives you 3c1 plus 3c2 plus c3 equals 0. So I have this other equation also with me. And the third equation also, if I try to form out, so I get c1, c2, c3. I can use this idea of this, that the scalar triple product is equal to 0. So scalar triple product, if it is equal to zero, that basically means if I find the determinant of the coefficients of all the three vectors and equate it with zero, I'll get a uh, one more equation. So my coefficients are two, one, three, then three, three, one, and the last one is C1, C2, C3. So if I solve this further, I get two, three, C3, minus C2, minus one, this gives us 3c3 minus c1 plus 3. This gives us 3c2 minus 3c1. This entire thing is equated with 0. So if I solve this further, I get this as 6c3 minus 2c2 minus 3c3 plus c1 plus 9c2 and minus 9c1 equals 0. So if I further try to solve this idea entirely, I get this as 6C3 minus 3C3, which is 3C3, minus 2 and plus 9, which is 7C2, and C1 and minus 9C1, which is minus 8C1, equals 0. So if I see multiply that with minus 1 throughout, I get 8C1 minus 7C2 minus 3C3 is equal to 0. So I have this three equations now with me in terms of C1, C2, and C3. Now I have these three equations for me in terms of C1, C2, C3. Let's solve them further and get the values of C1, C2 and C3. So I have 2C1 plus 3, 2C1 plus C2 plus 3C3 equals 5. The second equation I have here is 3C1 plus 3C2 plus C3 
equals zero, and the last one we have is eight C one minus seven C two minus three C three equals zero. So once I have these three equations with me, let's try to solve further and get the values of C one, C two, C three. So if I see, I have here plus three C three, and here I have minus three C three. So let's say if I add these equations one and three, what we get. So if I add one and three, I get this as ten C one, C two minus seven C two is minus six C two, and three C three minus C three cancels, and you're left with five. So if I try to figure out C one in terms of C two here, I can write that as ten C one is five plus six C two, and from there I can get C one as five plus six C two divided by ten. So this is one idea for C one in terms of C two. Let's also try to have C three in terms of C two. So to have that, I'll try to make the coefficients of C one same and subtract so that. I have C one eliminated, and then I can get C three also in terms of C two. So, if I multiply equation one with four, and then subtract it from equation three, let's see what I get. So, equation one with four, if I'm multiplying, I get eight C one plus four C two plus twelve C three equals twenty. The third equation eight C one minus seven C two minus three C three equals zero. If I'm subtracting that. All of my signs get changed. This cancels. You get eleven C two plus fifteen C three equals twenty. So from here, if I try to write C three in terms of C two, I can write that as C three is twenty minus eleven C two divided by fifteen. So I have this also with me. Now I have C one and C three both in terms of C two. So if I put that in equation two. To get the value of C two, let's see what I get. So three C one plus three C two plus C three equals zero. So I have from here three times C one is five plus six C two divided by ten plus three C two as it is, and C three also we figured out it was twenty minus eleven C two divided by fifteen equals zero. So further, if I solve it, I get fifteen plus eighteen C two. Divided by ten plus three C two plus twenty minus eleven C two divided by fifteen equals zero. Now I have my denominators as ten and fifteen. So if I see, I want to make my LCM thirty. So I will multiply here with three. I'll multiply here with thirty, and I will multiply here with two. So further, if I solve it, I get this as forty five plus fifty four C two plus ninety C two plus forty. T minus twenty two C two divided by thirty equals zero. Further, if I solve it, I get this as fifty four plus ninety, which is one forty four, and minus twenty two, which is one twenty. One twenty two C two plus ninety five or eighty five is equal to zero divided by thirty. But thirty, if it get multiplied with zero, it becomes zero only. So from here, you get C two is minus eighty five divided by one twenty. Once I have C two, I can just easily find out C one and C three. So we know already C one is five plus six C two divided by ten. So five plus six into minus eighty five divided by one twenty two divided by ten. So here, if I solve it further, one twenty two into five, I get this as five two ten, five two ten eleven, and five one five six ten. So six hundred and ten minus eighty five into six, six five is a thirty three, six eight is a forty eight, five hundred and ten divided by one twenty two into ten. So from here I get this as hundred divided by one twenty two into ten. Zeros cancel and you get from here ten divided by one twenty. So you have C one also. Now let's just find C three, which is the last part. So C three I have twenty minus eleven C two. Divided by fifteen. So I have with me C two as minus eighty five divided by one twenty two divided by fifty. So one twenty two into twenty zero four four two. So two four four zero plus eighty five into eleven. Eleven five is fifty five. Eleven eight is eighty eight and ninety three. So nine thirty five divided by one twenty two into fifty. 
सो टू फोर फोर जीरो प्लस नाइन थर्टी फाइव सो फाइव सेवन ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस नाइन इज थर्टी थ्री सो थर्टी थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टीन इन टू वन ट्वेंटी सो फ्रॉम हियर इफ आई कैंसल आउट फिफ्टीन वन फिफ्टीन टू टाइम्स देन यू आर लेफ्ट विद थर्टी सेवन फिफ्टीन टू टाइम्स अगेन एंड सेवेंटी फाइव फिफ्टीन फाइव टाइम्स सो फ्रॉम हियर यू गेट दिस एज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई वन ट्वेंटी Now, once I have this entire thing with me, let's first find out the value of the expression. So, one twenty-two times C one plus C two plus C three, which is one twenty-two. C one was ten divided by one twenty-two. C two was minus eighty-five divided by one twenty-two, and C three came out to become two twenty-five divided by one. One twenty-two. I can just take out common and cancel with the outer one. So, you are just left with ten plus two twenty-five minus eighty-five. And if I see here, this gives you two thirty-five and minus eighty-five, so two thirty minus eighty, basically it's one fifty. So I get the answer for the question which is asked to us, and basically that matches with option C. So C becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on vectors. So we were given three conditions. From those three conditions, we found three equations. and once we solve them linearly we got the answers for c1 c2 c3 and that if i put in the expression i get the answer which is 150 matching with option c so c becomes the correct answer here i hope you have understood how to solve this question i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also If you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis please do like the videos as do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in this preparation of questions on jwe so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis thank you